I see a man with his arms torn off. His insides are outside for all the world to see. And this one? Oh, that one's easy. A man is stabbing a woman to death. Her blood is smeared all over the wall. It's going to be a very messy cleanup. I'm bored. <clears throat> What's my score? Mother said you wanted to test my genius IQ? It'll take more than one visit to determine that. I'd like to see you two times a week. I've been reading in National Geographic about the natives of Papua New Guinea. They would go to war with a neighboring tribe, and when they conquered them, the winners would eat the vanquished tribe's best warriors and then their medicine man and then their chief. Tell me, do you think it's possible to take someone's power by eating their flesh? Or could you do it just by bathing in their blood? You lied to me, Mother. Dr. Feinblum had no interest in measuring my genius IQ. All he wanted to do was listen to me talk. I'm never going back. Dandy, you must go back. Do you think I'm sick, Mother? Of course not. You're spirited. That's a laugh. Where is my mother? She ain't out buying squash. I'm sure she'll be home in time for dinner tomorrow night. She better be. Or I'm going to the police. I'll strike you a bargain, Mother. I'll go back to see Dr. Feinblum. In fact, I'll go for an entire month. That's wonderful, Daddy. All you have to do is kill Regina. You're a horrible liar, Mother. She can see through every one of your stupid stories. Regina wants to send me to the electric chair. And if I go, I'm bringing you to sit on my lap. Isn't it beautiful?